one of the things, the things that happen when you train to be a musician is you start to lay down different kinds of musical memories. So memory not only in an auditory form, but also in a visual way, because you can memorize um, tab or sofiege or whatever form of uh, score reading you're using. You can also lay down tactile memories of how it feels to play the instrument or hold the chords. And your brain is capable of stitching all these things together. And it makes a much more intricate, colorful memory, which is easier for you to hold on to. Writers are always told when you start writing, write about what you know, because that's where you're going to be most comfortable to start with. And look in as an outsider on the process. How are you writing based on what you know? In what ways are you trying to be novel and which ways are you trying to be creative? And the same is often um, taught to beginning composers that you don't need to force yourself to seek brand new novelty straight off. You have a wealth of musical knowledge which you've built up thanks to your brain without really ever having to try that implicit knowledge of tonality and you can use it quite naturally and over time you will find that from this novelty springs, uh, springs creativity.